ladies and gentlemen, let me actually, finally, officially, or at least as official as I can pretend to be, this, uh, this is this one's actually going to be uploaded, you know, and we're actually going to. This is the beginning of of the beginning, I suppose, the comeback, the the trying again part of this channel. So it's been a minute, man. It's been a minute. Um, it's been at least a year since I said I was. I'm gonna have to take. I'm gonna have to check this since I said I was taking a break. Um, and then I've uploaded like briefly. I uploaded twice, I think, during the break. Um, with the idea of coming back, and I just never kind of did. But now we're gonna. 446 days ago was when I uploaded the taking a break video. So last August. Um, then I did internship game exactly a year ago, apparently. Um, no, 356 days, so just shy of a year. Um, and then like 221 days ago, I put my uni room tour video. I don't know why YouTube Studio has it in like days ago, but <laughs> yeah, is what it is. Um, but yeah, it's been a minute, um, literally, and now I'm back. <laughs> just to kind of explain why I wanted to break in the first place, I was I'm starting third year. You know, I want to take it more seriously. I wanted to have more time to, you know, reflect creatively, get back into my to whatever, and then. Uh, the idea was that once I got adjusted to third year, I'd start uploading again. Um, but things never quite went to plan. Um, this isn't going to be like a somber video. Uh, <laughs> there's no like thoughts or reflections on it. It's kind of just like getting you guys up to speed. Um, and also allowing myself to verbalize this so I can actually put it out and then you know, continue where I left off. Um, well, hopefully, you know, slightly above where I left off. But let me explain to you guys like, some of the very brief issues as to why I didn't come back sooner. So fundamentally, I kind of stopped with the intention of coming back better, you know, I stopped to get good, but then I just never, I never got good. Like the idea of returning never really felt exciting to me because it's like, I felt like I was always combating the algorithm. Um, and even though I was gone, I wasn't like doing nothing. I was still learning, um, you know, internalizing things, trying to get better. Um, I started doing new things, started doing stand up. Um, uploaded once or twice on UGSG, I think, on the podcast, maybe not. Um, but, you know, I've still been learning, trying to get better creatively, um, trying to understand more about management or uploading or what titles work. And I think that shows, because the last two videos I uploaded since taking a break were, you know, one day first came out, well, the latest one is the last one to come out, but it was top, top one of 10, like 400 views overnight. Um, and that was the internship game, season three, whatever, I think. And then it was room tour, again, top video. I just showed you it, you know, it was top. Um, and so I kind of figured out, you know, well, I kind of accepted I'm a student. As, as much as I want to talk about finance or these other things, like I, my best content is like my content is me documenting um, and getting better at thumbnails and editing and titles and stuff is obviously going to help fundamentally. Um, but it's about drilling that into me. Uh, and the sad thing is, I just don't really enjoy those things as much. <laughs> like I like creating the videos. I like I'm starting to get have more fun of editing, but. There are so many parts of it. I think being a YouTuber doesn't just mean making content. It's also like publishing content, um, marketing the content, you know, managing your time, getting all the ideas, writing. You're kind of doing everything that Sky Studios and BBC and Fox News do. You're kind of doing all of that, but just on your own. Um, and it becomes very isolating. Um, I wouldn't say I was burnt out. I wouldn't say that I felt lonely. Um, I wouldn't say that I was like creatively blocked or challenged or anything. There was no like negative thing here, but I just never felt... I was never excited. I kind of lost the excitement. It stopped being fun when you started trying to appease the algorithm. And that was especially pressing in times of a cost of living crisis, in times of having COVID burnout that I never really knew I had. Um, COVID burnout isn't not quite the same as like regular burnout, at least that's not, not the way that I'm referring to it. But it's more like you have this whole phase of like, I'm going to start doing this and start doing that. I'm going to see these people or not. <laughs> you know, I'm going to. You know, where what's going to happen after COVID? Am I going to go on holiday? Um, am I going to visit this place, see that person? Um, and all these plans that even though COVID's like not as big anymore, it's like you know cost of living is there or you know inflation. It's like there's always something. And I think for a long time it was like I'm going to do these things when COVID's over. Um, but the problem wasn't just the pandemic. It was you know being being broke uh, or still being a student um, or not having the friend circle in Bristol and having to like kind of find my own way around. Um, a lot of last year coming back into third year like engineering itself was very difficult but you know having to have multiple jobs part time uh, having to make new friends make friends all over again um, moving house wasn't really that deep you do it every year but you know moving here and there and then selling a the car and doing this and doing like I was very much again not really burnt out but I had so many things to do that it was like the idea of prioritizing this channel, which is still just a hobby, I'm not really getting paid for it. <laughs> None of my friends, as far as I know, like watch it actively um, or at all. Um, I might get the odd comment here or there, like, oh, you know, I saw your videos, kind of funny, haha. 
But otherwise, it's like, I'm kind of just doing this for me <laughs> in my room. Um, I don't really get anything out of it, um, tangibly at least. I kind of enjoy making videos. But yeah, I, I kind of lost the excitement for a while. Um, so that kind of prolonged the break. And I think this is a, something that I never thought I'd say. <laughs> well, I, I, didn't, I didn't really expect to say it. Um, but I was trying to get like, even though I say I was never really excited by it, I was still trying to get back into making videos. Uh, funnily enough, I still have a lot of content that I've recorded between, I mean, I've still, this is the Pixel 6. I don't know if you've seen this recently, but it, I, I got this last year and, and I recorded a review video for it, um, comparing the Pixel 6 to my Pixel 4. Never came out. <laughs> um, I like briefly edited it, but I never edited it well enough to think like this is going to be a good video. Um, I guess it doesn't help when you're competing with like the MKBHDs of the world and people that have been making videos for years. You know, I'm trying to make a video compared to that one um, that I can be proud of. Uh, I just didn't know how to do it. I just didn't know how to do it. But also, I didn't really manage my time well enough um, to actually learn to do it. Like, I, I love learning. I, do, I, I like the challenge of making a good video. Um, but I couldn't organize my time to do it. Um, and after a year long waitlist process, uh, you know, I've finally been diagnosed. Um, with ADHD, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ADHD. I can now say the N word and the R word. I'm stacking up words like infinity stones. Um, and by the way, this hoodie's got like a thumb hole in it. I really, I, I like that. I, I like thumb holes. If you, if you can get me some hoodies, some merch of thumb holes, uh, yeah, then you're, you're the one. Again, like I hope this isn't coming across as like a somber video because fundamentally, even though I haven't been here, um, and I kind of feel bad about it, and it's like things haven't been rosy and great and amazing, uh, but nothing's bad either. <laughs> it just wasn't the right timing. Uh, and to be honest, now isn't isn't feel like the right timing either. Um, things still kind of feel a bit loose. Uh, and I feel like because I've been gone for so long, there's so much that's happened that I feel the need to, to, to explain. <laughs> um, I mean, I've been in a new place. And I've actually recorded a moving out and a moving in video like four months ago. <laughs> so I things things will start to make, make sense. Um, I don't know how to approach it yet, whether I'm going to just explain it all at once or kind of see how things visually go over time and fill in the blanks as I go. Um, but yeah, this is not to be a somber a somber uh, video. I've done a lot. Uh, a lot of things have happened, good and bad. Uh, and generally speaking, again, this isn't like yeah, it's, it's not a thing where I was like down or burnt out or upset. It's more just, again, it wasn't the right time um, and things in the universe hadn't yet aligned. Um, I haven't actually got, so having an ADHD diagnosis, might, I might do a video on that at length at some point anyways, but I'm still needing, well, I've signed up to get like, medical treatment um, and I haven't got the meds yet, so I'm still going to be a bit, a bit mess, a bit messy, um, but I, I'm working on it. I'm getting there. Um, and funnily enough, as weird as it is not, you know, being kind of, wrong, <laughs> kind of broken for so long not knowing it, and then being told like halfway through the race that by the way you're, you know, there's a huge weight on your, the back of your legs, you're kind of chained down to a huge boulder by the way, <laughs> like being told that middle through the race I'm like, at first I was kind of annoyed but then secondly it's like, well, I'm still kind of ahead of it, <laughs> well I like to think I'm still ahead of where I could have been otherwise so I, we'll, we'll see how things go um, I don't think it's a huge hindrance but bear that in mind when this so I was I woke up today saying the one thing I gotta do is make this video. Um it's now ten fifty five PM, so it's still gonna make it out on Monday. Just not not as conveniently or appropriately timed uh, as I would have liked. I think going forward, like I mentioned that I do stand up and why that's important, um is one because I mean it's just some, it's something I'm doing, so it was cool. Um but also I now have a new channel, you know, shout out to T shirt comedy, uh, where me and my friend Rez actually, you know what, I'm not gonna explain it again here, because we've explained it over there in this corner I think. But me and my friend Reza are starting a new channel where we're kind of uploading bi-weekly but alternatively. So he uploaded today and the good video by the way Reza if you're watching this. I uploaded last week and I'm going to be uploading again next week. Um, fundamentally just documenting our comedy journeys, going to gigs, meeting people, getting funny, yada yada. So if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing just on that particular thing, you know, go and subscribe over there. Um, shout out to Rez for helping me, uh, well for us helping each other. Uh, I'm looking forward to see where that goes this spread course of the year. Um, otherwise, what I'm going to do is, since I'm working on that platform anyways, I'm going to try and just get into an upload every Monday routine where um, on one week it's going to be for you guys, for the culture, um, back like I never left, um, and alternative weeks is going to be over on T-shirt comedy. Uh, so I may as well be back. It doesn't feel like I'm doing as much work because it's like half here and half there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be a fun, uh, a fun 
next 12 months. Funnily enough as well, like I mentioned that I've got a catalog of old stuff. Like I've still been, this is what really annoys me because even though I haven't been uploading everything, I've still been recording videos consistently. Um, and actually the main reason why I said that today I'm gonna actually just come back and come back out is because um, <laughs> when I was uploading the last t-shirt video, actually no, so I've got a job, it's like a, as a thing, um, and I was required to download some software for it. And then my laptop's like, no. <laughs> And speaking of laptops, I don't I don't even know if I mentioned this, but you know, MacBook. I've got the MacBook Air review somewhere that I've done, and now we've got a MacBook 2. You know, now we've got an M2 MacBook Air. We've got a Pixel 7. <laughs> we've got an iPhone SE 2. All the reviews I've done are so out of date now. I'm just gonna have to call it like Google Pixel 6 one year later <laughs> or something. Um, so those videos are still gonna come out. Um, probably not in the current form. So I've uploaded, I've edited some of them, and they are ready to come up. Uh, but I think the, some of the ones that I made like earlier, for example last summer, well even this summer, uh, I might make some amendments to uh, and put out, but that's going to make my workload easier on a weekly basis because I'm not doing as much editing as I would be doing if I was doing it from scratch, um, but also it's going to allow me to kind of get better at the editing process. So when I do come back to actually recording more live content, it should just be well, more raw, you know, fresh content, raw material, uh, it's going to be a lot easier at that point. Um, that's kind of my idea of getting back into it. I think it's going to be hard to just jump straight in and say it's got to be better than last time. Um, whereas if I just, you know, just keep stepping, one step at a time, one hour at one hour at a time, um, just like everything else you do. Um, and I think comedy kind of made me realise this. Like my first set went kind of well, um, but you do get better and better over time. Um, you'll probably see on T-shirt that Res is a lot better than I am, um, but. At the beginning, I kind of thought we were level, um, or if anything, depending on the set, one of us would kind of edge ahead. Um, but you can kind of see what marginal gains actually means in real time, where you go from like, even if you're just getting a tiny bit better, your delivery is a tiny bit better, um, your body language is a tiny bit better. After like 50 tiny bits, <laughs> that accumulates to quite a lot. Um, so let's focus on the small marginal bits. Um, with the understanding, not with the belief, with the understanding, with the knowing that the overall, you know, piece of art, body of work, will improve uh, marginally throughout the period of time. So I'm back and I'm excited about it now as well. Um, it took me a while to kind of adjust and to to, to, to wake up, but uh, I'm really excited now, especially now that I've got Final Cut. Um, Final Cut's not, I'm still very much used to Premiere Pro, um, but new software, something new to learn. Even though I already know how to edit, it just makes the idea of like, let me use this and see what I can do with it. So. Consistently trying to do new things, consistently having the ADHD and being distracted um, is what's going to get this channel uh, up and up and running again. So shout out to me. I think the idea of getting good um, was kind of stagnated by the fact that I never felt good. Um, and even good, there's a line between being good in terms of what I'm proud of and good in terms of what the algorithm wants. Um, I've watched a lot of Colin and Samir um, throughout the course of the year. They're a phenomenal channel, by the way. That's your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. Um, but their content, something that they mentioned is you have like some of the video you make is like your creative ambition and then some of it's like what your audience wants and then some of it's what their the algorithm wants and there's like these three parts of your creativity I only really want to do what I want <laughs> so having to compromise a third of, you know for everyone else and another third for the algorithm I guess I didn't realize I was doing it and I didn't realize how much of a burden that was coming on me creatively um, but it's something that I'm gonna obviously adjust to because it's being a you know hobbyist is one thing but it'll be nice to actually grow <laughs> and see where I can take this channel as a business uh, or anything or whatever. Um, so that'd be nice to adapt and to learn a bit more about what I'm doing to have a better understanding of how to monetize this or like grow it. Even uh, even if it's never going to make money, just to, to see how much I can grow it. Uh, we'll get better at the digital marketing or the content creation, yada yada. But I'm also kind of going to cut the algorithm. I, I mean, you got you got to see if this this is going to be a longer video than it should be, <laughs> where I kind of just go back and forth. Um, it's not going to be overly edited either, um, just me kind of explaining, talking, um, and it's not going to, the algorithm's not going to love it, <laughs> but I'm okay with that, because again, it's a process, and I appreciate that marginally, at some point in time, I'm going to be better at doing this. I think, I mentioned that I accepted being more of a student, um, and that's going to show more and more throughout the new stuff now as well. I'm going to focus on the editing and the writing as opposed to just what sounds good. You know, all oh, investments, this, like, um, I'm still going to talk about finance because I'm personally in invested in it, I'm interested in it, but I'm going to focus on making, again, better content. Um, and what I've learned from comedy, again, is that that comes from the writing. You can't just make it up. You have to, you got to think and actually make something. It's not just 
improv, not 24-7 improv. Um, and then editing just makes everything nicer. Lastly, I guess I'm going to touch on the Undergrad Survival Guide, UGSG, the podcast, the show. Um, that's great. And I really loved it. And I really enjoyed it. Um, I love the medium. And I think I want to do more podcasting. But I think the student niche, um, especially as I'm older, um, I- I'm still gonna, I still want to do it. Um, the main bottleneck there isn't like ambition or excitement. It's just organization. You know, shout out to ADHD. Um, but having to find new guests every week and then sit down with them. Um, again, I want to, I took a step back to get good and never got good. I said earlier, um, I want to be able to upload every week and I can't be calling people each week to make sure that works. So I'm going to have to, at some point, stack up a bunch of episodes or at least have calls already laid out on the calendar. So I know, I'm going to, I know who I'm going to be talking to. Um, otherwise it's going to be a it's really, really long relationship management uh, and things like that. Partnerships is just not my cup of tea. Never had to do it for YouTube, never had to do it for, for comedy or anything else really, other than the podcast where it's like now you're relying on other people. Um, it's a new skill, haven't learned it yet, and I never really bothered to, to hone it whilst I was making the, the, the show in the first place. So, and you know, if any of you guys want to be on the show, hit me up and <laughs> we can get it done easily. Uh, very easily, actually. I've still got the microphone and all the, all the kit that I need, I've got. Um, it just never came around to doing it because, again, I can't get organized um, or couldn't get organized. Um, but yeah, I think I will eventually come up with a different podcast, I think. The student medium, as fun as it was and as much as I enjoyed making the show, um, I like the format and the medium of podcasting more than I like UGSG, I think. Like if I had my own thing, do everything my own way with less like, there's no institutional burden at all by any means, but because I'm like picking an audience or students, I want to reach you people, now I've got to cater to you. you know, now I've got to make content for that, uh, for that niche um, versus just being the personality, being the brand, whereas like in comedy, we just say what you want to say. So yeah, I'll figure that out in the future. I think UGSG is, as much as just like important, I guess it's not urgent, it's something that I want to do, something with the most potential, I think, but something with the least, <laughs> it's the hardest thing to do, I think, again, because I'm not organized. Um, and even the editing with that, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a two hour clip, or even if I shorten it to half an hour, I saw half an hour of edits versus this is going to be about 20. Uh, which to be fair that's not actually but that much more 50% more I guess you could say but then you're making the clips um, and YouTube I don't really promote this I just upload and call it a day um, the podcast I've got UGSG's Instagram page I've got a post on there um, and it's become so much more you know the Sky metaphor metaphor the example that I gave before of like having Sky or Fox these are like big media companies that have to do all these things um, with the channel it's not so much I kind of just come up with an idea do it right a loose script um, talk about it, edit it very loosely, it's not like anything high-tech um, and then post it, I don't really do any marketing whereas the podcast was literally like finding guests, uh, researching the guests, coming up with questions, writing a script um, calling them, organizing the, the, the interview, interviewing them then afterwards just like cutting it, doing this, doing that and it was so much more complicated um, that it's still, it's actually I probably enjoyed that more than I enjoy YouTube but the whole being organized and being the management side of it um, took away uh, from well, it just made it made it difficult, especially with me, who's fundamentally just chronically disorganized. Um, so that I, I hope I can bring that back. Um, I really, 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 really hope I can bring that back. But that again, the bottleneck there is disorganization, um, and as these things are much more important priorities, you know, getting the studies down, getting you know, surviving this cost of living crisis. Um, making some sort of plan for the future, you know, my career plans, um, just general general life things. The podcast is great, but general life things have to come first at this day and age. So we'll see if I can figure it out in the future, um, but that's the future's problem. As of right now, subscribe to T-Shirt Comedy if you haven't already. Subscribe to me, hit a like, um, hit a like over there too, um, and then I guess I'll see you on Monday. I have a next Monday over there, or the following Monday back over here, because baby, we back.